You want more deep sleep because you know it will help you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you plan on using the following ways to enhance your deep sleep, then please stay until the end of the video because I'm going to share with you three key things that you need to know. Keep watching. SleepGods.com I'm Brandon, and if you're new here, head to sleepcodscom video to get my free animated video on 21 sleeping tips, so you can wake up feeling refreshed and energized. Let's dive in. Number five, warm your body. A study determined that old women who had a bath with water at the temperature of 40 to 41 degrees Celsius had an increase in deep sleep. So take a hot shower or bath over the next few weeks and use your sleep tracking device to see how it affects your deep sleep. Number four, eat less carbs. Maybe. A study found that less deep sleep was obtained after consuming a high carb, low fat diet. Another study showed a decrease in REM sleep, but an increase in deep sleep in healthy non-obese men who were put on a low carb diet. Studies are scarce and of the ones that exist, some contradict each other. I agree with sleep doctor Michael Bruce when he says, we need to see more research to better understand the relationship of ketogenic diets to adenosine and to sleep directly. Number three, intense prolonged exercise, especially in the morning instead of close to bedtime. A 2017 review of 29 studies showed that all but four of them showed a positive correlation with improved sleep quality and duration. Longer duration of sleep gives your body more opportunity for deep sleep to occur. The review also states that acute exercise has a direct effect on deep sleep. Number two, get sleep between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Article after article and authority after authority continue to tout this time frame as optimal for gaining a higher quality sleep compared to if you got the same four hours of sleep between 2 a.m. and say 6 a.m. Now I struggled to find a direct link between sleeping in this time frame and a measurable increase in deep sleep despite so many authorities and articles saying that it, it does, that it does increase your deep sleep. And so what we, call, what we call this is this anabolic window or what we call money time sleep. And this is generally between the hours of 10 and 2 because it's more lined up with your natural melatonin secretion. So if you go to sleep during those times, you actually spend more time in the deepest, most anabolic stages of sleep. The best I found was an inconspicuous sleep manual put together by Pierce Public Schools in Nebraska. It backs its positive claims of the 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. sleep window with two studies, which I've included in the description below. Take note that they don't directly mention that it improves your deep sleep. Most articles will say that sleeping in this time frame will give you more restorative sleep, but that doesn't necessarily mean deep sleep. Ultimately, this window is touted as optimal because for most people, this is the approximate time frame when hormones like melatonin and human growth hormone are secreted in their strongest doses based on your body's natural alignment with the rhythms of the sun. Being asleep during this time can maximize what we'll call restorative sleep. In terms of actually increasing your deep sleep, I believe, yes, this probably does increase your deep sleep. But with that said, do your own research, do your own experiments. Finally, number one, allow more time for sleep. And before you shrug this one off, let me ask you a question. If average Andy sleeps three hours a night and typical Tyson sleeps eight hours, then on average, who do you think gets more deep sleep? Because he gives his body more opportunities for deep sleep to occur. Good sleep typically includes four to five sleep cycles. Each cycle lasts approximately 90 minutes. So if average Andy only goes through two sleep cycles a night, he's only giving himself two sleep opportunities where he can get that deep sleep that he needs. He may only average 15 minutes per sleep cycle, giving him a total of 30 minutes of deep sleep. Now, if he gave himself an extra three sleep cycles, basically like a normal person, then theoretically, he would reach 75 minutes of deep sleep. Now, before you run off, here are three key things you need to know in order to implement these tips. Number one, understand everyone is different. What works for someone else may not work for you. Number two, understand that studies are limited. Be sure to do your own testing. And number three, track your sleep so you actually know whether you're improving your deep sleep or not. By the way, if you're interested in transforming your sleep habits so you can wake up feeling refreshed, energized, and become more productive, then head to sleepguards.com slash video to get my free animated video on 21 sleeping tips. Thank you for watching. I'm Brandon, and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe and watch the next video.